uh, big part of life. Because if you ever hear like, oh, uh, I have I have a flexible schedule. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's true. That's true. You know, yeah. Oh, that's go facts right there. Yeah, you know. it's flex. good to have a flexible schedule. Yeah. Or to be flexible in life, right? Oh, yeah. that's interesting. Yeah, because yeah. yeah, you know, actually, a lot of people who's like into lifting weights or whatever, flexibility is just seen as something that girls do for yeah. yoga. Yeah. But then you know they're it's like, oh, still, you know, guys, guys can't get flexible because I'm not, can. I'm not naturally flexible. It just, it's just made. It kind of seems like it's more. It's kind of sexism. Thing. It's kind of sexism, right? Yeah. Like yoga, yoga. Yeah. Because you know, actually, yoga was invented by men. Once upon a time in India, women weren't allowed to do yoga. It was only a men's sport. Interesting, right? Yo, yeah, yo, yoga. That is pretty interesting. Yoga has oh. a lot to do with meditation as well. Yeah. Which, which uh, way are you going to go? That way or this way? In either way. Maybe we go this way. Yeah. But yeah, that's you know those are those are my keys to life would be eating healthy, exercising, flexibility. You know you have if you're flexible. You know like you have flexible time. It's yeah, like, ah. those are the type of things. Those so are the key do, things do you need a flex? You need to like stretch every day or in the morning or at night or so before you sleep. I would say first when you first wake up in the morning. Yep. It, it's it's is exercise and flexibility yep. would be the key things to work on yeah. as soon as you wake up and then as well you mentioned that before you go to bed. Yeah. yeah. That's, that's very good as well to stretch uh -huh, uh -huh. out before you go to bed because when you wake up after you say when you stretch before you go to bed you wake up yep. the next day your body is going to feel amazing like mm. oh you're going to why do I feel like this oh thank uh -huh. you you're going to appreciate but, but you the know stretching. some people they say yeah I know it's good for me but I'm too lazy yeah that's just and that's and when it goes back to that the laziness that's the that's the stereotype of America you know do, do you think we're lazy? I think I believe <laughs> we we are naturally lazy like if we could sit down all day and not do anything, we we do it. Hmm. But really, I, I hate I hate I actually hate staying at home. I'd prefer to be out. Yeah, like some there's but there's some people that have that mindset. Are some poor pe people born lazier than others? Yeah, maybe that maybe that as well. Some people hmm. might be born lazier than others, but it's it's hmm. lazy is a mindset as well. Hmm. You no. Know? Well, because my my thought, William, is I think humans are actually not born lazy. Because all kids like to run around, right? But sure. when you go to education, uh, you're forced to sit down. It, so I actually, my theory is we're not lazy. School just kind of fucks you up. Yeah. That's an interesting it's, theory, it's right? Like when you hit school. Yeah, because you're not allowed to run around, right? Yeah. Like, I, I, like, I don't know, ain't no kid who likes to stand, stay still and sit in a chair. Like, to me, that's like, that's inhumane. True. Because, like, kids want to run around. And actually, cool. that's why I'm a big fan of, like, from those, like. Five to, from ages five to nine, that is true, you know? Yeah. Right. And not only that, but I bet you adults want to run around too, but society don't don't let you, right? Yeah. It's like you gotta you gotta sit in your cubicle, you gotta make money, you gotta answer yeah. email, you gotta be productive. It's so like even adults we're not allowed to play no more, right? Yeah, when we turn adults, all the playtime's over. Yeah, playtime's you know, over. It's like, oh I don't wanna get up. Yeah. I don't wanna go to school, I don't wanna go to work. Yeah. To like ain't nobody like to go to work, right? Yeah. Yeah, I have boy, I have this notion I call it plork. Play work. Oh, okay. Because for me, like, I'm self employed, but all the working that I do feels like play. Nice. And I feel See, like that's a, now, a good way to think about it. If you have a mindset like that, yeah, where yeah. I, you know, I love my job, yep. or, you know, that's where, you know, you connect very well. Hmm. Or if you're a person like, oh, I gotta get up. Yeah. Then that's. You, but you but some, some jobs just kind of suck, though, no? Some, some jobs do suck. <laughs> some jobs do suck. Yeah. Right? yeah. Not everybody likes their job, not everybody likes their boss, but. Yeah. You know, you have to do something. So, what, when, when are you finna open up your studio? So, when maybe when this current COVID situation ends. Yep. Uh, what if it never ends? If it never ends, then maybe I might just have to open up my own, hmm. my own gym at my in my house. Yo, do it, man. It would be really cool to try. Yo, do it. it. I've been training in, in Muay Thai, kickboxing, yeah. well, Muay what Lao, huh? uh, kickboxing for yeah. like three years. Oh yeah. And you know it's, it's really really cool. I so like what's what's the best martial arts? To me, there is no perfect martial arts. All those martial arts are really cool. You have How about Jukin Do, Wing Chun? Right, so I would say Jeet Kune Do. If the best? I had a favorite martial arts, it would be Jeet Kune Do. Yeah. I would say that would be the best martial art for me. Uh. But. I feel like you know, all martial arts are cool. There's, they're, cool they're, they're, they're just huh? different styles. Different styles? But are there some better styles than others? There are some styles that are more effective. Than yeah. Others. Like you know, Wing Chun. What do you mean effective? So like you have wrestling. Yeah. Say a wrestler versus a Wing Chun fighter. Yeah. Uh, Wing Chun is useful in a math and 
yeah. because it's close hand combat. Oh, yeah. Now, yeah, yeah. then, if you have a Wing Chun guy fighting a wrestler, yeah. and the wrestler immediately goes to try and pick him up and slam him, yeah. you obviously see which style is more superior. Yeah. So, who, who's, who would be superior in that situation? I would say Wing Chun could also be superior as well. It just mm. depends on the situation. the situation and how uh. it's used. But wrestling, I know, like, right, you say if you put wrestling against Jeet Kune Do, yeah. Jeet Kune Do is the way of the intercepting fist. So whatever you throw at a, a person that does Jeet Kune Do, whatever you try and throw at them, mm. whether it's a punch or a kick or even a grapple, yeah. they intercept it. Okay, how about, how about this? Tyson versus Bruce Lee. Who would win? I would say... Tyson is prime. <sighs> I would say Bruce For real? Well, why, 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 why? Alright, right, you don't have to lie, you don't have to lie. I could take that back. Yeah, take it back. You can take it back. I would say Tyson is prime versus Bruce Lee in his prime. It would be a great battle. It would be a great battle. Great battle. But who who would who'd win? Who do you think? If Tyson connected, he'd win. Yeah. If he connected. But, but if he didn't, because of Bruce Lee's so fast, various, he has he's educated in almost every style. Of his. Yeah. He, so assuming, okay, how about assuming Tyson couldn't land a punch? Could do you think Bruce Lee could actually knock out Tyson? Uh, Bruce Lee has they said Bruce Lee was 140 pounds, but he can hit like a truck. Oh, okay. So. <laughs> Well, I mean, like, you get a good kick to anyone's head, you're gonna knock them out, right? Yeah. So maybe, so, so maybe my theory is, well, I th I'd have my money on Tyson, but, Tyson yeah, it's, 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 yeah it's, it's fast too, because, like, I don't know, man, like, Tyson, when he does bob and weave, even if Bruce Lee got a good kick in his face, he might still be able to take it. I don't know, maybe you have, to, you have to hit him in the eyeball or something. Yeah, that's another thing. I have to look at that Tyson is 200. 20 pounds. Yeah. He's 220? Yeah, I'd have to look at that, and then i have to look at Bruce Lee being oh. 140 pounds. So, he, he he would definitely be able to take, he would take three of Bruce Lee's punches just to get that knockout. Oh, so yeah. It's possible. Cool. Oh, do you know what's interesting, though? Have you watched the, the boxing anime, Hajime no Ippo? Yes. Is that the best one? Oh, I love that one. Yo, after watching that, I really want to get into boxing, because... Uh, I've always been like, so my, my story is that like growing up uh, Asian American, you know, it's always like, was, oh, you know, Asian guys, y'all have small dicks, da, 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 da. and then, so I always kind of had a chip on my shoulder. I'm like, yeah, you know, like, I guess Asian guys can't get buff. And then also oh, this is my self-racism where I'm like, oh, you know, only African American guys get super buff because they're physically superior to Asian Americans. What would you, what would you tell, what would you tell me? So, well, what I tell you for that is, you know, I don't think any any race is superior in, when it comes to uh, phys physique or yeah. nutrition. Yeah. No race, no race is superiorly buff or stronger. Yeah. We all we all have the same mind. Yeah. Like, it's just uh, it's been it's been put and embedded. Yeah. That one race is better than the other. So why has it been embedded that African Americans are like the apex physicality? Well, I would say because of the 400 years of slavery. Hmm. Uh, what the slave masters would do is they would breed they would breed the strongest and super the strongest slaves that there were. Yeah, yeah. Then if you watch like you know, you see LeBron James, yeah. Mike Tyson, yeah. who are their ancestors? Hmm. You know what I mean? So hmm. that, that alone. So it's more of a itself. more of a breeding thing. Sort of. But, but you know what's funny? When you talk about humans, we're not allowed to say breed. I noticed that as well. Yeah, have you noticed that? It's like, because you only you can say you breed a dog, right? Yeah. But you can't say you breed a human, right? Yeah. Like, what? How come? You, how come? You, it's it's known that you cannot say that. Why? Why do you think that is? Uh, because it's maybe it's illegal, and if if people in modern times talked about it more, like, oh, they used to breed slaves. How could they do that when? Oh, so cat cats out of the bag about racism and uh, yeah. slavery. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. It's like, and it's like. I can't, you know how people say Black Lives Matter? Yeah. And this, that, yeah. It's not just Black Lives Matter, you know? Because you have Hitler, the genocide. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Every, every race went through something. Whether yeah. they were black, white, Spanish. Hmm. They all, every race went through something. Oh, so 